Australia, population 21 million. Their health care system is called Medicare. Same name as in the United States, but much different. In Australia, everyone is covered. Medicare pays for an entire visit to a public hospital and reimburses a trip to the family doctor. Most medication is covered under the plan, which does require a copay. The system is funded by income taxes. Most Australians pay 1.5% of their salaries. Those with higher incomes pay an additional 1%, and there are low-income exceptions. But the public option isn't the only option, as Victor Rodwin, who studies health care systems around the world, explains. Australia has a Medigap private health insurance sector, similar to the French, which allows coverage of supplementary benefits and some co-payments. Approximately 43% of Australians opt to buy private insurance as well. According to Ian Butler, an Australian doctor currently practicing in the U.S., a primary reason for buying it is that people can bypass long waiting lines for elective surgeries. If you are sick, say with a stroke or a heart attack or pneumonia, there's really not much of a problem. But if you, say, wanted a hip replacement and you wanted it done um, more uh, quickly, uh, uh, more expeditiously, and say by a particular surgeon, then it would be to your advantage to, to have uh, private insurance. It also helps cover costs for private hospitals and specialists not entirely covered by the public plan. Australia spends 8.7 percent of its GDP on health care, compared to 16 percent in the United States. Total annual spending amounts to $3,137 per person, compared to $7,290 in the U.S. Life expectancy, 81.6 years versus 78 in the United States. On the whole, 24 percent of Australians surveyed in a recent poll said their system works pretty well compared to 12 percent in the U.S. Brooke Baldwin, CNN, New York.